So this is the Upri in the bed. Um, starting to lean over, starting to uh, collapse, so I'm going to just start digging it up. Let's get the knife under, pull them up, and there's a nice size brood ball. So I'll get on and I'll harvest these and show you what I get. So this is my Upri harvest. Some nice looking brood balls here. Look at them. I mean, some massive ones. Of course, this will break down. There'll be smaller ones inside the first skin, but they're still massive. Now, hopefully, this is a sign of what's to come for the rest of the alliums in the bed because I've got the elephant garlic um, to harvest and three types of normal garlic. So they'll be coming up in the next few weeks. And I just hope I'll get a, a nicer a, a harvest as I have here. I've got some in buckets, so what I'm going to do off camera, I will empty out the buckets and show you the difference between the buckets and the, and the bed. I'm going to go and do that now. So as you can see, the ones in pots have done okay, but haven't fared quite as well as the one in the beds. There's a couple of reasons for this. One is density. I just crammed loads into the pots. So I think to get a better harvest from the pots, I would have to limit the quantity, maybe say a dozen or so into each pot. Uh, there were just these flower buckets. So maybe it's a dozen, maybe it's even less than a dozen. And also you need to water them. I, I've hardly watered these at all, so I can forget about them. They'd get some overspill as I'd done the other beds, but you know, they would dry as a bone when I took these out and they've never been fed. So three reasons why I could have done it better. However, I've got loads of these little ones this size and they're perfect size for when the seed starts. So these small ones will work and these larger ones will work. These big ones are being eaten. So it's, they have produced a reasonable amount of edible ones but also quite a, a few decent sized ones to start off my next crop.